What's up, guys? It's Ryder here. How has your day been? How is it going? Today, February 17th, it has officially been announced the 26th season of the Power Rangers franchise, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. There is so much to unpack today, this week. Power Rangers, the franchise, what's moving forward in the next upcoming years. Let's start with about a week ago when it was confirmed that Saban had re-signed a deal with Nickelodeon and Paramount or whatever the, the big Viacom, whatever's the studio behind Nickelodeon and th to, to have Power Rangers be on Nickelodeon for the next three years after 2018. So that means 2019, 2020 and 2021. Very weird if you think about it because usually what they've done in the past, like since Samurai, right, they've done two years per season. So you had two years for Samurai, two years for Megaforce, two years for Dino Charge, two years for Ninja Steel. Yet they've only signed a three-year deal, which means means that let's say Beast Morphers has two seasons, uh, a regular season and a super season, the following year they will have to either re-sign a new deal to have another series have two seasons. Do you kind of see what I'm saying? So I'm wondering, I'm ju it's just a thought, it's a theory, I'm not sure if this is happening or if it's not happening. Potentially Saban could be losing the super seasons, which would be fantastic. Everyone hates the super seasons, we all just want to get back to one year per team. I'm wondering if that's what going on here with this new three-year deal. I could be so wrong, and knowing me, I'm always trying to give Saban the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. It's risky. It's iffy. We'll see, but it's interesting. I'm just going to leave that there. Then just a few days ago, we had this brand new official logo for Power Rangers going forward. And I put out a tweet. I, I, I had seen it late at night. I was just kind of processing it. And basically, this, the, the gist of my tweet was, why are they rebranding? Why are they going ahead and creating a new logo? I could be completely wrong. I, I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I'm just, I stand by myself. And I, I'm, I, this logo has grown on me, this new one. But all I, I saw when I had first seen it was, you know, the, the logo the current logo it's cool it's been what i have grown up with the logo for me was like the theme song you know they would always re reveal a new logo and they would reveal the new suits and then the theme song and i was like yes you know and every year it was different but it was consistent now that they're changing it i have to adjust that goes with a lot of things in my life currently there's a lot of things in the media and television and movies and just real life where things are changing you know things always are changing it's how you adapt with it so i'm keeping it open in mind with that but this new logo also raises new questions in the, the sense that hey is Saban trying to maybe make it a little bit more adult are they trying to I don't know restructure the way they they look at the television series I don't know maybe they're not uh, again I always try to give Saban the benefit of the doubt it's risky again I'm gonna leave it there Hasbro Bandai Saban Power Rangers what's going on well I'm not a toy channel or not anymore at least but but of course, it's a known thing. Bandai has been with Power Rangers since basically the inception of Power Rangers. It has been there. They've been the toy manufacturer. They've held the rights, the, the manufacturing, distribution, all that, okay? And just a few days ago, it was announced in a mutual press announcement that Bandai and Saban had again mutually parted ways. This was a big deal. It's a bit of an upset. It's a bit of like, what's going on here? And then Hasbro steps in. Hasbro's like, hey, you know, we're gonna now take in the distribution, the manufacture, all those rights, the toy rights. Hasbro is now going to be making Power Ranger toys. And once again, you have to look at what Saban's doing recently. They're, they're really taking the things that have been going on and they're kind of switching it on his head a little bit. They're doing opposites. They're doing new things. And you have to wonder, are they trying to take this series, the show, in a different direction? So yes, here we are. The reason you've clicked on this YouTube video, all right? Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you guys. You, this is what we're talking about today, and that is Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Kind of out of the blue, what really has taken everybody by surprise is the fact that Saban and Nickelodeon will be adapting a Super Sentai series called Go Busters, or there's, it's like Tokime Sentai or some, something like that. I'm not a Super Sentai watcher. I, I am a, I definitely am a supporter, but I don't, I'm not, I don't watch it, right? I'm not 
not I have never watched an entire Super Sentai season in full. However, I am familiar with this Go Busters and the suits and some of the characters and the villains just because I had a project that I worked on a couple, like three or four years ago at this point uh, on it. So I am familiar with that. And the thing that really everyone's scratching their head at is that Go Busters had come before the Japanese counterpart of Dino Charge and the Japanese counterpart of Ninja Steel. It was thought like three or four years ago that Go Busters had been skipped for Dino Charge and then skipped again for Ninja Steel. Now Saban is circling back around. Again, you have to scratch your head. You have to wonder, is Saban trying to do something new? Are they trying to take the show in a different direction? I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis for the new season and we'll break it down. Set in the future, a secret agency combines a newly discovered substance called Morph X with animal DNA to create the Power Rangers Beast Morphers team. The Rangers must fight off an evil sentient computer virus bent on taking over the source of all ranger power, the morphing grid itself. Featuring never before seen leather suits and an all new beast themed arsenal, including dynamic new zords, fans should get ready for a season full of secret ops and more phenomenal fun. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's a synopsis. And to be honest, that synopsis is the most intriguing, I think, of all the synopsises Saban has released. To me, that's the most interesting concept since Power Rangers RPM. Now look, I'm not going to go ahead and jump out of my chair and be like, yes, it's changed. It's going to go back to the way it was. I have no idea if that's going to happen. What I can tell you, what I can tell you, that I freaking love spies. I love spy movies, spy TV shows, spy books, books about agents. It's just awesome, all right? Mission Impossible, James Bond, hell yes. Let's sign me up right and do it. Sign me up now, please. I will wait here while you sign me up. So the moment they combine that with Power Rangers, I just give them two thumbs up already. Then you get into this idea of not using a typical MacGuffin that they usually do. Like, let's take a look at this. You had Ranger Keys, and it's like, oh, the Rangers got the Ranger Keys, and that's the basis of the season of Super Mega Force. Oh, the Rangers got Dino Chargers. Oh, that's that's the basis of the season. Oh, you got your Power Stars. That's the base. It's not, doesn't seem to be like that. This synopsis is the idea of you're taking this new gene mixed with animal DNA, and you're either infusing it into these Rangers, or you're giving them some sort of injection I don't know, okay? There, there's some way with how they morph, and they're, they're going to be doing it with DNA-based. That's really cool in itself. Then you get into the idea of it being in the future, so then you start scratching your head. Is this connected to something like SPD? Is this connected to something like Time Force? Then you get into the other idea of a sentient computer virus, and I start scratching my head. You know you start scratching your head, and you start saying the name Vengex. And I, I know, like, maybe we're, we're all geeking out too hard right now. I, I think I am. I'm, honestly, I might have to take a Tylenol after this. I, I'm geeking out too hard. But I'm thinking about Vengex. I'm thinking about RPM and I'm thinking, you know, how many sentient computer viruses are out there? It, is it Vengex and just some other guy maybe named Tom? Tom, the evil computer virus? Is that the villain of Power Rangers Beast Morphers? It might be. Or is it Vengex? It would make more sense to me if it was Vengex, but it, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure. Is this going to take place in the RPM dimension? Is this taking place in our dimension? In the SPD future? In the Time Force future? Again, so many questions. But then, guys, then we get to the beef, the meat, the frickin' morphing grid. The morphing grid. Okay, so what this is, it's the idea, it's the, the source behind the concept of morphing. So this is like the, the power that is allowing rangers or heroes or teenagers to use a box or a totem or something to transfer into their suits. So it's what allows rangers to morph. There's This was big in Operation Overdrive in the Once a Ranger episode. They talked also a lot about the morphing grid in the Power Rangers 2017 movie. They've talked about it in Mighty Morphin. It's been a theme, but the fact that they're basing a series like this, uh, a current modern day 2019 Power Rangers incarnation around the idea of the morphing grid again really makes me scratch my head because I think well the morphing grid doesn't just apply to one set of rangers it applies to the universe of Power Rangers it belongs to the the mo it's interdimensional you know it, it can go from Corinth it can go from the dino charge dimension it can go to the 
regular Earth One dimension. It's a, a you know interdimensional universal. What I, I don't even know the terminology. Galaxy binding concept. So it's not going to just focus. It can't just focus around you know three or five rangers. This might very well connect to other rangers, which is very interesting. But guys, this is huge. This is a very big thing. I've heard some other people's opinions and read some articles, watched some other YouTube videos, and I think the overall consensus is that people are excited to some extent. I personally am excited, mainly because I look at from 2011 to 2018, and I say, you know... Okay, you know, I it's just it's like really it's a okay with a question mark and kind of like an upside down exclamation point because I'm just I'm not really sure how I feel about these last few years. There's moments I like, there's moments I love, there's so many moments I hate, there's so many things I'm confused about, and all I want from this show is something that feels fun, that feels original, that is like I can come back here maybe every Saturday or Sunday morning and just be like invested in that story. Power Rangers shouldn't feel like a show that's on Disney Junior or Nick Junior or whatever the, the Junior, you know, for the little kids. It doesn't necessarily do that all the time, but I, I expect more from the show. I expect Disney era quality. I expect Saban era quality. I don't expect whatever the quality we've been getting. Yes, it's going to be a Nickelodeon, but something's giving me this feeling that lets me know, that indicates to me that Nickelodeon has not been behind the the bad quality of these last few seasons. I think it's been Saban. So I don't know what's going to go on here. Maybe they're getting a brand new creative team and maybe Hasbro's going to buy the, the whole thing. Maybe another company's going to step in. I am not sure. I honestly am not sure. But there's something different that's happening this year at least. So yeah, maybe the show will be the exact same quality it's been, but at least we know there's something different going on in other places. And to me, that's kind of comforting. And also, just for people who might not be aware, the way the Go Busters team works and the way that it appears that the Beast Morphers team will work is there's only going to be a main team of three rangers. Now, I believe the last time we had a main team of three rangers was Jungle Fury. Now, it can be argued that RPM was a team of three main rangers, but really, I kind of feel like RPM is a team of five that started with three. So, yeah, but I think Jungle Fury was really the last team that was only a main, main team of three Rangers, which is over 10 years. It will be over 10 years by 2019. So that's pretty cool. They are currently casting these Rangers right now and other actors. I have no idea how old these main Rangers will be. But the fact that it takes place in a secret agency leads me to believe that they're not going to be doing teenagers in high school. And thank God, to be honest, I, I love the fact that Mighty Morphin started that way. And I love that other seasons have echoed that with like Dino Thunder and even Megaforce and Ninja Steel. But I'm just, I'm tired of that. I, I want different themes. This is what upset me the most about Super Megaforce. They could have done some really cool pirate stuff. And we never will see that again, which is, man, that sucks. You know, I, I wanted to see a pirate themed. But we've had jungle themed. We've had magic themed. We've had police themed. I'm ready for some spies. And I think everyone's ready for some spies. The other thing you should know is that I am 100% going to be covering this as new information is announced, is released, first looks, anything that we get, I'm going to be breaking down. So, hey, I'm just going mean, to throw it out there. Subscribe. And maybe, it's just a maybe. Think about it, subscribing at least. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun with this. Super Ninja Steel videos will be coming soon. I was going to do one today, but then this happens. So, I might just do like three episode reviews next week in one big video. You guys can let me know your thoughts on that concept. But thank you so much for watching. And of course, go down below in the comments and give me all the thoughts on Power Rangers Beast more the good, the bad, things I didn't include, things you want me to talk about in the future regarding this. I'm Ryder, signing off with Infinite Attitude, and goodbye. Gila.